Thank you so much. So exciting. I've started my own TV show called Hard Chat and it did really well last week. It's got great feedback. Yeah, you, you started your TV show in inside this yeah, Inside TV. your show. Straight away, after the show finished, I got a call from the head cardigan at the ABC. <laughs> and it's already been given a second series, which wow. is great. I mean, has, has this got a second series? Uh, not, not, not yet. Oh, well, you know, yes. If it improves, I'm sure we might get one for you. Um, <laughs> Uh, can, can I ask who is who is on this week's hard chat? Oh yeah, sure. I've got another senator. Um, I don't know if you know the government's finding it very hard to get the budget passed through the Senate, but right now I'm finding it very easy to get senators to pass through me. <laughs> hard chat. Welcome to hard chat. I'm joined by independent senator Nick Xenophon. Thanks for joining me. Um, pleasure, I guess. Let's <laughs> chat hard. <laughs> You've got lovely hair, Nick. Was it made by Lego? Hey, thoughts on your garden here. Hmm. Now, you used to be the nut job in the Senate. You were the only one. Now you're surrounded. Do That's you get right. a bit jealous? What sort of nuts are we talking about? Cashews, almonds, macadamias? Just. Lambie. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> it's not fair. At school, did kids call you Dick Xylophone? <laughs> no, just xylophone. What would a Dick Xylophone sound like? I don't know. I thought it would sound like a regular xylophone, but it'd just be more of a damp thud. <laughs> now, you taught Christopher Pine at university. Did you teach him how to be a knob, or was he self-taught? <laughs> I've taught... Uh, I've taught Christopher Pine everything he doesn't know, including how not to negotiate. Now, you're an outspoken critic of the government's data retention laws. Mm. What's in your browser history? <laughs> You know, too many embarrassing things, I just can't remember. Just Googling yourself? Yeah, no. That's, that's even worse. You've pushed to have the Church of Scientology deregistered. Mm. Why do you hate Kate Sobrano? Is she a Scientologist? I don't know. I think that a lot of people have been hurt uh, by Scientology and it's a case of those at the hierarchy of the church, particularly in the US, mm. uh, where there have been some real issues. I've been hurt by the church too. Have you watched um, Mission Impossible 4? <laughs> Ghost Protocol? No, I missed it. All right. Well, Nick Xenophon, thanks for the chat. Is that it? Thanks for chatting. <laughs> So, um, you know, in the words of the senator, is, is that it? Is that... No, I've got something else for you. What? Well, this week uh, they had the inquest into the Sydney siege, yeah. OK? But don't panic. I'm here to tell you... This is what you think. <laughs> now, we already knew that there were, like, 18 calls to the National Security Hotline, yeah? And, and despite all that, like, that, they, they just did nothing. It didn't achieve anything. But then this week, at the inquest, we've found out this. Today they built a biography of gunman man Haron Monas and it was full of surprises, like his numerous failed attempts to join the Rebels motorcycle gang. No one in the club really liked him and he was, quote, weird. The bikies grew tired of him and stole his motorcycle. <laughs> The bikies knew straight away that he was sus. I trust the bikies more than I trust ASIO. <laughs> I reckon we have to get the bikies to man the national security hotline. They'll do a better job. Can't be on there. Oh, yeah, tell me. What? What? He's got no tattoos. Oh, what? What? He doesn't ride a motorbike. Oh, what? No motorbike and no tattoos. This guy is sus. Lock him up. Do you want to buy some ice? <laughs> this is what you think. Did you just do two segments of your show inside my show? Uh, <laughs> make no mistake, this show will be mine. <laughs> Tom Gleeson!